Hi, my name is Fred Fowler. I'm a co-owner and co-founder of the Saxonville Precision Works here in Saxonville, Massachusetts. The Saxonville Precision Works is a wood shop and uh, artist studio basically founded for production of instruments and other artifacts, artwork uh, made out of 100% recycled and repurposed woods and materials. What we want to do here is provide uh, functional art, actually playable instruments that were crafted from teardowns, uh, old kitchen cabinets, uh, old furniture, and things that we would uh, normally, people would throw away. And what we want to do is actually make them into usable instruments and uh, put them out to the marketplace. I initially come from the precision tool industry. Uh, I did that for 37 years. Uh, retired a few years ago and uh, found myself kind of bored and was doing some woodworking at home uh, and kind of wanted to get a little bit out into the, into the world with some of the stuff I was doing. And uh, I bought my first CNC machine about two years ago uh, was an introductory model and I just fell in love with CNC and all the possibilities and the things that it could do. So when I got together with my co-founder Patino, uh, we both had vested interest in producing instruments and uh, uh, I decided to move into this shop here where we have a lot more space and I could kind of outfit it the way I really wanted my shop to be, have a world-class shop. And uh, we ended up buying the Laguna CNC machine to uh, increase our throughput and actually make it a lot easier for us to be able to come to market with some of the instruments and custom pieces that we're making. So I was talking with um, the, one of the founders of the Makerspace here in Framingham. We were looking into getting a CNC machine to do some of the guitar work. And we started Googling and looking online for videos. First video we saw was the Laguna Swift, uh, the one that we eventually ended up purchasing uh, here with um, Saxonville Precision Works. So when I saw that, my jaw dropped and I said, wow. <laughs> You know, because we're a small crew here, and, um, and having a machine that's powerful enough to, to take care of that many steps in the process uh, with precision and, um, and accuracy was just a, a, a game changer for me. I actually uh, heard about Laguna. Uh, I'd heard the name uh, kind of bantered around in the CNC circles, the wood rotting circles, but uh, I knew Laguna from uh, one time I was at a friend's shop and they had a Laguna bandsaw. and. Uh, it, to me, it was just a beautiful instrument, a beautiful tool. And so that was actually the first uh, stop that I made on my shopping list was to look into Laguna in, in their CNC machines, uh, just knowing the quality of the equipment that I'd used in the previous uh, times. The machine has, has opened up a, a range of possibilities and um, the types of projects that we can do now with, from the engraving that we can do in the cajon drums um, to the sign making possibilities to um, creating two, two and a half D uh, features that we can add on to instruments or, or um, you know, I love how we can just, even just from a, from a hand drawn image, scan that in and turn that into um, artwork in, in wood and um, you know, every day we're discovering more possibilities and, and new ways to use it. I've had nothing but great luck so far with the machine. Uh, I would highly recommend it. Um, we had a, some early on technical support issues which were solved immediately and, and very courteously and, and quickly by the uh, Laguna sales support and staff. And uh, it's been a very good experience all the way around. So it just started as a personal challenge to myself that I wanted to, I wanted to see how, how zero waste I could get. So I just started seeing if I could reduce the amount of 
bags that I was using, the amount of package waste that I was creating, and, um, and it was just a personal challenge to me. And now I'm managing all this material, but I do it because, because I, I want to see what's possible. Um, I want to inspire other people to explore it and, and get artists you know, fired up about, about using their talent to um, help solve a bigger problem in the world. We want to expand that and also teaching uh, kids to you know, use the shop tools and to respect uh, the woodworking as a, as a hobby. What's, what's happening and what I see now is most of these younger kids are getting involved in computers and things like that, which is wonderful, but there's no trades people up. There's no one doing the hands-on type of work uh, that I find so gratifying, and I think that a lot more kids should get involved with it. So we're, we're looking at that future generation uh, as well.